Yeah, Bob, the last time we were here at San Fernando Middle School, they were having a vaccination clinic for students 12 and up. Now picture this, that by January 2022, it's quite possible, depending on full federal FDA approval of the vaccine for 12 and up, that those same students will be required to have the vaccine before they can come back into the classroom. Now, this is what the governor had to say about why he is taking this aggressive move. We do, of course, have the winter and spring ahead of us, which could mean another COVID-19 surge. We recognize good enough never is, and that's why we recognize our responsibility to do more. And that's what we are announcing here today, a statewide requirement for in-person instruction for all of our children to add to a well-established list that currently includes 10 vaccinations and well-established rules and regulations that have been advanced by the legislature for decades to add to that list the vaccination uh, for COVID-19. We intend to do that once the FDA has fully approved the vaccine, which will give us time to work with districts, give us time to work with parents. All right, so he says that he believes that the FDA will fully approve the vaccine for 12 years and up by the end of the year. Now, religious and medical exemptions, they will still uh, remain. This edict comes after California became the second state in the nation to require that all school staff members, teachers and support staff to be fully vaccinated. And here in LAUSD, Already students 16 and up, they have to be vaccinated if they want to participate in extracurricular activities like sports. Now, take a look at uh, what this means once again. So after the full federal approval, the vaccine, the COVID-19 vaccine will be mandated for students 12 and up. This could happen by January 26. 22, or if after that point, then they will be required to have at least one shot by July of 2022. Now, right now, only 16 and up is uh, gets full FDA approval. So we will look forward to what happens next on this. There will be a lot of discussion about it. We asked the principal here to come out and talk to us about what it means for her school. Reporting live in San Fernando, I'm Susan Hirasuna. Back to you, Bob. I'm